to keep working on me till I got it right, right, right. This whole key looking at me. It's true, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of though, kind of. Welcome back to the channel. It's your host with the most, Time Boy Double O. And you're currently watching Time Boy Team. Now today, your boy's back at it. You know, I like to get a lot of early review for you guys. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. We had early Travis Scott Air Force Ones. We had early Off White Dunks. We had early Jordan Ones. We have almost all of them, like at least general releases. We get them, and now this time we do got Air Force One Supremes. Maybe. Possibly. So, Spring Summer 20 leaks have been starting to roll out. You know, the season does begin middle of February. I'll be coming out with a full leaks and date preview video and all that other good stuff as time progresses and gets closer to release date. But, we are here to discuss one of the most hyped already and anticipated releases from Supreme for SS20, the Nike Air Force One. Now, this item has leaked out. Official images, not official images, but images in hand have already come out from a select few people. Mockups already out there, as you know. My page at hype underscore and J, which is right here. This is hype and J, baby. This this is what we're rolling with. So, what we got? We got the Air Force Ones. Now, I'll have to do in hand review for you guys early, and we just got a quick pair. But unfortunately, my pair is not exactly like this. Hint, hint, if you hate clickbait, get out of here and hit the dislike button because I'd appreciate it so much. Or comment down below why you hate clickbait. Because look at this shoe, bro. Look at this damn shoe. They were so damn creative, they decided to do a basic Air Force One with a nice... Well, I honestly like this because they easily been messing up a lot of sneak releases lately from Supreme and Nike. And I love the way they went about this. So, what we're about to do, we got our Nike Air Force One right here. And unfortunately, unfortunately... Uh, there is no Supreme branding. So actually a follower of mine from hype underscore and J did hit me up It was like yo post this it'd be mad funny and it was him actually doing it So shout out to the homie. I'll put his Instagram here if I find a DM again A lot of my DMs have been getting deleted on hype and J just been getting a little bit too hectic for me But he actually sent me a picture of us like, yo, I'm about to make a video of this if you don't mind I think he said it was okay or not. I don't know. It's like no one copyrighted this idea just yet. Supreme's about to though. So we're about to do this custom. We're about to throw you guys up on the tripod and screen recording on the camera. We're about to show you guys how you can make your own Nike Air Force One for $92. That's including total cost. That's including computer time. That's including printing time. That's including everything. So we're about to head to the computer and show you guys how it's done. And we're back behind the computer, ladies and gentlemen. We updated it for 2020, babe. We got a bunch of Time Boy TV Plus stickers. So I'm about to throw you guys up on the screen. I'm show you guys how this graphic designer called Tommy Boy TV is about to go about this right now. So I'm about to put you guys up on the screen. If you haven't watched the how to buy the Nike Claw Air Force One manuals, I highly recommend it if you guys want to know how to copy these. They might have already come out by the time this video comes out, but we're about to go about this right now, yo. I think we're about to. Well, I think we're about to freaking school the internet right now. So all you got to do, we're gonna close this tab because it's gonna end up running the computer. So we're gonna look up simple box logo, Supreme box logo, right? We're gonna look this up and I am gonna be posting this on Instagram and see how many people, how many pages I can spoof. All right, so that doesn't really look at box logo, logo. Box logo, logo, I guess. I mean, it doesn't make sense. So I do actually have my own PNG image that I do have of this Supreme logo. But boom, this one looks not real. There's a lot of fake Supreme box logos out there, believe it or not. So we're about to go through this all, see what we can find. Da da da. Well, or we could literally just go to Supreme's website, you know, but they have one that's very, very small, which is kind of what we need. So we maybe maximize this up. Looks a little bit blurry, but I think this will work. So what we got to do, we got to take a nice, precise screenshot of this. Go just about it. Move it over to the left. Boom. I think that might be just a little bit bad, though. Let's see if this comes out well. So when we have our screenshot right, we can go back to regular screen, swipe over to Word because your boy does not know how to use Photoshop. I've never used Photoshop in my life, believe it or not. I don't know if it's that hard to believe, but each single one, every image that you got, yeah, you see it's a little bit of black in there. Every single image that you guys do see me by me doing a Hype and J, Tommy Boy TV, that's all Word document or Final Cut Pro, by the way, if anyone was ever wondering. So I know I do get a few DMs about what programs I use. I use a Word document and I use uh final cut pro so you guys can see right here here's our supreme box logo so we are going to wrap text into in front of text right here so we can move it around just like that now we're going to have to do two because there's two different sides of the shoe that we do have to use we're going to do this one we're going to see how the sizing comes out though because if we use this by perspective the margins are just about let's see what the layout is on this one margins are what uh top bottom narrow no, that's not the right margin. What's the size? This is 8.5 by 11. So we take this. This is about, this is 8.5. So we one, two, three. This is about two inches long. Am I two inches? So, whoa. 
What? I think that's just about right because if you see at the leaks, the image is not the. It's like not really that big on the sneaker. So I think we're about to go right around with this size right here. We're about to match the size here. Hopefully they come out well. These are two box logos we're gonna use. So what we're about to do, we're about to print this out colored ink because black and white don't make no sense. We're about to do this colored ink right here. We're about to head over to the printer. Hopefully it prints out well. And uh, hopefully I'll show you guys what it looks like. And we're gonna do the whole arts and crafts moves out here. Go ahead and print this John right here. Hopefully it works because lately it hasn't been connected to the printer. So come on over here. Oh, it is working ladies and gentlemen. If you guys didn't know, hold on, let me fix the lighting in here real quick. Oh, that should be better. We got a bunch of shenanigans. Don't mind these socks. Don't mind this ink. Oh, oh, this might be too big. I think it might be just a bit too big. Because if we take a look over here, it looks like, yeah, this is too big of a branding. It looks too, too much bootleg. Because bootlegs typically have the bigger branding. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to have to... Oh, that didn't sound too bad. I think... 10 seconds later. Oh, what do you think? Is that too big? Let me see. Let's let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out real quick. See how it looks on this, buddy. No, that looks fire. I need it to be seen in pictures anyway. So we're about to cut this out. And I'll show you guys what it looks like on this. Shit. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so looks like we got our two bogos. I did have to redo it a bit, so these came out well. Now next up, it's simple. Yo, this is the simplest customization ever. I think that looks good, bro. The only thing that's okay, the only thing that's uh, opposite of what the real pair is, this has sup instead of air. So that's the one creative aspect they did. So now I'm about to go get some glue. I'm about to put these baby box logos on. You, we just got our Elmer's washable school glue. I haven't used it since I was like in the second grade. Oh, this is purple though, bro. This is not going to be good. This is going to leak. All right, let's try it though. Let's try ruining these Air Forces, <laughs> Air Force Ones as much as we could. So we're going to lather it up with some glue. We're going to put this bad boy on just straight enough. And does, oh that, look, does that look good to you? It is not straight. That ain't straight. What about like that? Does that look good? Yeah, straight. Look at that. Yo, that looks real, bro. This looks goddamn real, yo, my video. Yo, this looks dumb real. Fire. I just don't want any end points sticking out. Looks like there is a small little end point sticking out. Yeah, starting to come off just a bit. As expected, it is leather, but leather, it honestly is sticking pretty, pretty well. That's why I didn't want to use uh, purple glue, though. Because it will leave a mark on these beautiful looking G phasos. So that's one. Right there, boom. There's one BOGO on body. On body. And then I hope I put it the wrong direction, though. And the next one, this is actually still, even though we cut this down to 1.5 inches, uh, this BOGO still is looking very, very big. I think we're about to run out of storage, so if we do, I'll be able to add some in a second, but let's add this BOGO on real quick. <gasps> no, this is why. This is why. Well, so we must not rush anything. I apologize, this does feel rushed just a bit. But... But what about like that? Huh? 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 Who's the best customizer out in the game right now? Huh? Tell me. Tell me. Look at them. Look at them beautiful joints. Hey. Hey. We had this item early, baby. Team early, boys. Once again, you know, Tom Boy does it the best out here. So I'm about to run up some more storage on the camera. I'll put you guys and show them how it works. I got me a brand new Beamer too, just to flex on our heart. You guys saw the on feet look. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Air Force One Supremes by your boy. The only thing, once again, we're missing is the Supreme logo right here, but it actually came out to look pretty good. The only thing is it doesn't look embossed, you know, like it doesn't look embroidered into the sneaker. So that's why the only difference it is. But other than that, 
Hey, yo, we got it. We, we team early out here. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than what I typically do. I want to diversify up the content for this year. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you guys want to buy a pair, buy yourself a pair for literally $92. Print out a paper, cut it, put some glue on, and boom, you're dripping out there. Just don't let nobody catch you, catch you slipping out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.